Are you guys ready? Then let's go. We're playing as Deathstroke now against Shazam. Cool combo with the sword though. I always like the Deathstroke character. In this series of Arrow, I thought it was pretty damn cool. But I promise you guys we would talk about Batman v Superman. Which should have been Superman 2, but they you know, DC Universe changed it all up. Which I thought was a smart move. The Man of Steel got a lot of hate. Mostly by DC comic purists, Superman purists. They were like, Superman can't kill, and look at what he did to the city, and all these people died, and yada yada yada. So they sort of integrated that into that new movie. Batman v Superman. I won't spoil everything about the movie, but there might be some spoilers here, so... Be warned. If you haven't seen the movie yet, and you're about to see it, then you probably shouldn't listen to me and talk now, but... I must say, about that movie... I love the opening. Ben Affleck as Bruce Wayne going through the city where Superman's fighting Zod because he was sort of visiting Metropolis at that moment. God, I love that scene. You know, he cruising around in the car and, and you see Superman fighting Zod flip by now and then. That was awesome. He definitely made an awesome Bruce Wayne. But then, after that, the movie sort of falls apart for me. Still just a kid. It's playback time. Oh. Deathstroke. you're doing it's not what I'm doing it's what I've done ooh fighting the flesh now Batman v Superman it has a lot of cool scenes man the actual battle Batman fighting Superman that is really cool but the reason why and and the, the, the build up and the reason why they stop fighting is so stupid. I mean, first of all, the casting of Lex Luthor is way off. That Jesse Heisenberg should be called Hindenburg because his performance crashed and burned, man. Jesus, that was horrible. But besides that, Lex manipulates Bruce Wayne slash Batman because apparently he knows his identity. And Clark Kent slash Superman because he also knows that identity, apparently. He plays them out against each other because he wants to get rid of Batman and he also believes that Superman has no place in his world. That's his only motivation. You, you don't really get why or or it's because he has other plans with the world. So no, no, it's just because he thinks that they don't belong. And... You know, there are some little plot thingies and and some stuff happens, but in the end, they fight each other. And then they stop fighting each other. Finale's coming. For a really stupid reason. Got a front row seat. We gotta get moving. What'd you do, Slade? The reactor's gone critical. First rule of war, man. Take out command and control. This satellite's the key to Superman's regime. Damn it, you jeopardized the entire mission. Superman's my priority, not your Batman. Batman, this is Cyborg. We have the watchtower, but we've got a problem. The reactor's gonna blow. Can you stop it? It's a runaway. You have 90 minutes. We're almost in position. Batman out. I'll have to teleport everyone off. Nice work, gentlemen. Got my hands full, Luthor. What do you want? I need Deathstroke. For what? I've learned that Ferris Industries has prototype technology that may allow me to re-weaponize Batman's kryptonite. I need you to bring it to me. Does Batman know about this? 
No, he would have insisted on using the weapon himself. I need to do it. Batman is the face of the insurgency. If he dies, it dies with him. Lex Luthor risking his life to save Batman. I want to believe it. Send over the coordinates. Harleen, get your people into position. Occupy any law enforcement you can. Yes, sir, Bat. I'm on it. Yes, sir, Bat. Can I pick up your dry cleaning, too? Wax the Batmobile? Ah, oh, freedom. He's gonna kill me. I'd worry less about him, sweetums. Let's go. I can probably fix it, but I don't know how long it'll take. Parts of the control panel were designed to work with Cyborg's neural implants. We have to keep trying, Barry. This may be their only way home. Make this quick, Fox. I'm needed at Strikers. I've discovered anomalies. Like tears in the fabric of space-time. I got your message. Get to the point. I think these are places where the duplicates arrived. This one may be the source of the transfer. The insurgency? I don't know yet. It's just a theory. Superman doesn't want theories. He needs facts. Why did you come to me with this? <sighs> Send the coordinates to Flash. He can confirm your theory faster than anyone. Done. Is there a... <laughs> nice detective, but you're too late. Wow, he took down one woman easily. Oh yeah, we were talking about the Superman and Batman fight scene. Well, you see a really weird montage of Bruce Wayne, you know, doing some stuff and creating some weaponry and then working out as if it's gonna help I mean he's fighting a god but anyway the Rocky montage I guess every movie needs one but then the fight scene starts and it's pretty damn cool I mean Batman plotted out every single step of the fight so that's pretty well done and you know how we use this to kryptonite grenades to weaken him it makes him you know doubt himself now you feel fear blah blah blah, blah. This is, that's freaking awesome but then when Batman is about to win, I mean, he guessed Superman twice, which is weird because Superman fall for the same trick twice, but anyway, that doesn't matter. He's about to ram a kryptonite spear through his chest. He's like, they're gonna kill her, stop, and blah blah blah, Martha. He's like, Martha, why would you say that name? And then Lois Lane runs in, it's like, Martha is his mother. And, yes, yes, Batman's mother's name is also Martha, who died. It's like, oh, your mother's name is Martha? My mother's name is Martha? They were homies for life. And then he stopped fighting. The reason why they started fighting was weird to begin with. But they stopped because of a name. And then he become buddies. But Lex Luthor apparently fought this through because earlier in the movie you saw him drag around Zod's dead body into the spaceship of Superman. And he created Doomsday. Which makes no sense, because if Lex Luthor was so scared about Superman freaking out and destroying the world, why would he create a creature that's even stronger and harder to control? Too easy. Your tactics are one-dimensional. Yes, they are. I knew your lasso wouldn't hold you for long. You were offered amnesty, Deathstroke. You should have taken it. And missed my chance to battle Superman's rebound girl? How dare you! I'm an Amazon! An obsolete race with predictable techniques. Give me a real challenge. Surprise me. Okay, I have to fight Wonder Woman. But anyway, Batman goes to save Marfa. Marfa Kent. Which leads to an epic fighting scene. I mean, that scene is really cool. It shows a lot of Batman potential. And Superman is off to see Lex Luthor, who then unleashes Doomsday, which is freaking all powerful. They use a nuke, which is pretty cool. I mean, you see them explode, Doomsday explodes, but Superman gets sort of whacked by the nuke as well. 
He's floating in space and his body's all like messed up. That looks pretty cool. And then he recharges because of the sunlight, because that's what Superman does. And then the fight continues. And then Wonder Woman comes to fight along with them. And the Wonder Woman casting is pretty damn sweet. And not only does she look really hot, but she, she portrays a really cool character. She nails it, man. It's, it's awesome. Wonder Woman solo movie is it's gonna be pretty cool. I bet it will be, anyway. And they keep on fighting, and then Lois, who threw away the kryptonite spear, goes in the water to dive it up again. But then she gets stuck, and she almost dies, but Superman hears it, then leaves Batman and Wonder Woman to save Lois. I'm not impressed. Cyborg, I've got it. Send me to Luthor. Roger that. Hope it was worth it. Batman, you ready? We're down to 45 minutes. We're in position. Commence assault. Stay alert. Hello, Bruce. Still as handsome as ever. Save it, Selena. I'm sorry, Bruce. I joined him to protect you. He said if I helped find you, he'd... Spare me. I didn't believe him. But it bought us time. I misdirected him. Small comfort for the ones who died in my place. Damn it, Bruce. Do you have any idea what I've... You think I'm here by coincidence? Let's leave. I can be free of him. Be together. There is no we anymore. Bastard. I have a job to do. So do I. Okay, guys and girls, next time we'll talk more Batman v Superman. Till then, latest.